Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I um, am here to do the reading for the 23rd to the 29th of August 2020 and it's for the air signs. I actually did this uh, reading already and then something happened to it so I'm now going to redo it. I'm not sure. When I, when I tried to upload it, it disappeared. So anyway, I'll do Gemini and then I'll do Libra and then I'll do Aquarius. Um, the spread I'm going to do is a couple of tarot and then I'll do some oracle after that. Um, if you haven't seen a reading from me before, um, time is fluid. So just because I say this is the date, it might be whenever the right time, I guess, is. Uh, energy can be vice versa. Doesn't necessarily mean you, could mean your partner or your friend or whoever. Um, also, if it does resonate, please like, share and subscribe. If it doesn't, that's fine. It's a general reading. It's not going to suit every single person. Um, but yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, we'll start with Gemini. Gemini, 23rd or 29th of August. Gemini, 23rd or 29th. What does Gemini need to know? Oops. 23rd to the 29th. 23rd to the 29th. 23rd to the 29th. Gemini. Oops. No, too many. Goodness gracious. They're all falling on the floor. One side, Gemini. Thank you. Okay, so first we have spiritual strength. So spiritual strength is all about having resilience, it's courage, persistence, a test of faith. Maybe you need to set some boundaries, maybe you're a bit defensive, um, you need some strength or you could be at the ready. Um, maybe you need to meditate, I might look at the picture. And somebody isn't speaking their truth. So, I don't know why that light's been weird. Um, so, the truth is like the judgment card. That's it's reverse. So, it's like you're having doubt. You're, you know, you're worse than a critic. You, maybe you need some spiritual strength. Maybe you need to talk to, you know, the universe or God or whoever it is um, as well. And maybe because you, you are having the doubt you're ignoring the call if there's something you need you feel like you should be doing maybe it's spiritually maybe it's with relationship whatever it is but you're not speaking your truth and maybe you just need to get some spiritual strength and you've got ace of swords reversed and the ace of swords reversed is about obstacles maybe it's inner clarity maybe it's rethinking something you've got a bit of clouded judgment the next row we have, you've got decisions to make. Um, maybe there's options. Um, it could also be maybe there's just too many choices. You've got commitment issues. Um, yeah, so it could be all those things. And then you've got emotional loss reversed. So that's all about um, maybe having hope or self-forgiveness or moving on. So maybe you've got decisions to make, but you then move on from whatever that decision is. You've got Eight of Cups as well, and the Eight of Cups is about um, retreating, moving on. It's exactly the same. It's abandonment. It's looking for something better. Maybe you're disappointed by what you had in the past. Um, the moon's in there as well, which is, which is really good. Um, but it's all about intuition and things. So maybe you listen to something that your intuition was telling you. 
you've got the crown chakra. So the crown chakra, I'll tell you exactly what that is. The crown chakra is the, I know it's the connection between um, your, like the universe and um, you. Um, and it's wisdom and spiritual insight. Um, it's listening, I guess, to what, you know, they're telling you. Um, if you need to balance it, I guess it's all about meditation and breath work and yoga, acupuncture, you know, all those things. But, yeah, that's the crown chakra. You've got fertility, which is the same as the empress, and it's reversed. And that's all about um, depending on others. So maybe you were in a codependent relationship or maybe you do rely on somebody. Um, it could also be some sort of creative block if you're doing something for work. And transformation, it's another major arcana card as well. Um, that is the same as death. So death reversed, it's about resisting change. It's about some personal transformation. Maybe you're doing some work on you, um, a rebirth. So could be working on you. Um, and you've also got page of cups, which is it could be a new love coming. It could be that you now trust your intuition. Um, maybe you have some creative ideas if it's about work. Um, or something you might make some money from, I guess. Um, it can be, yeah, if it is a, like a love, it could be somebody younger. On the bottom of the deck, you've got balance, which is another major arcana. Um, that's the same as justice, but it's reversed. And that's maybe there was some dishonesty somewhere or somebody was, you know, taking lack of accountability for whatever they did. Um, and you've got Knight of Pentacles reversed. And that's all about um, maybe somebody's a bit irresponsible. They're bored. They're at a they feel like they're at a standstill. Maybe that's why they need to make the choice. Maybe this is past, present, future, something like that. This is just other information and it's just telling you maybe you're like stuck. You feel like you're at the standstill. You're not wanting to make the decision. Um, it could also be about lovers because, as I said, you've got the lovers card. So it could be about love. Um, so we'll move on to some Oracle and I'm even going to use my new cards as well during these readings. So I'll have to look up some of the meanings if I don't, if I'm not sure of them, but they're, they're new cards. Okay. Gemini, what does Gemini need to know? 23rd to the 29th. So clear out the clutter you had reversed. Rest, peace, and goals. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got revelation. So clearing. You're not wanting to clear out what it is that's not, I guess, for your highest good. Um, any kind of clutter, maybe even in your house, it could be that sort of thing. Um, peace is about you don't need to know all the answers. Let the universe or God or whoever you believe sort of just take control. You don't need to know everything, but it's also having inner peace as well about your decision. Um, goals, set a goal, write it down, release the outcome. It's about taking small steps. So even if you make smaller goals and then as you fulfill those, you know, you're going to be getting there. You've got rest. You obviously need to rest and relax. That can help. Sometimes you, sorry, hiccup, sometimes you need to do that. Um, and revelations, um, that's all about guidance and listening to, I guess, intuition. The right path will come along. It's just maybe you're also having um, a revelation about somebody or something. Could also be a truth come out. Gemini, just Gemini need to know, 23rd to the 29th, Oop. keep falling on the floor, um, take a moment, that's the same as rushing, don't rush before you make a decision, take some time, figure out what it is you want to do, um, but take a moment, breathe, you know, think things through, um, you've also got breathe, maybe you need to do some breath work, um, and that's, you know, the same, 
you know, um, maybe that's meditating as well. And you've got soul power. Um, you're a soul that comes with a body, not a body that comes with a soul. Your soul is your true essence and you have an unlimited supply of soul power at your command whenever you need it. Which is great. On the bottom of the deck, you've got memories. Maybe you're thinking back about, it's like nostalgia. Maybe there's something you're thinking back about. But I guess also don't think of just the good times. Think of, you know, this is the whole situation. Because everybody likes to think of, you know, this is this is what I think about when I think of this person. But you don't always think of the good and the bad. Okay, Gemini, 23rd to the 29th, August. Okay, spirit guides. So that's pretty much the same. You've got guides that are that are with you if you need to you know reach out to them if you need to you've got sun goddess which is about the healing energies of the sun maybe you need to spend some time go and watch the sun go up something like that can rejuvenate you sometimes and you've also got integration i combine body mind and soul to lift all of humanity humanity into a new direction maybe you need to meditate maybe it's integrating other things into your life other beliefs other um maybe you need to look into other other things to do it could be like um like meditation yoga um look in the moon cycles um look into maybe you've got an interest about angels maybe you've got an interest in about star signs whatever it is you can integrate all of that into your life um and on the bottom of the deck you've also got wheel of life and that's about cycles of life and we all have lessons and it's about got like you it's like pretty much like the wheel of fortune though it's, it's it's like there's a wheel you know some things might be good and then it goes bad and then it goes good and then it goes bad the cycle's always spinning so things will get better if you're in a really you know crap place at the moment and vice versa things you know the, the wheel turns and it, there's always there's always it's always going to get better i think that's the thing to remember but yeah and also we we lessons we learn i mean that's a cycle we go through them and we learn from mistakes or from experiences okay gemini 23rd to 29th of august gemini 23rd to 29th gemini. come on one more oh, okay so healing family issues, maybe you've got some issues with your family you need to sort out. Um, you need to do some resting. You've got retreat and it's reverse. Um, maybe you're not taking some time to kind of rest and relax. Um, you do have a true love coming. Um, at the moment, though, maybe it's an unrequited love as well you're going through. Maybe they're the two choices. Maybe... They're the same person, I don't know, but you've got a romance of a lifetime, which is true love, and then you've got an unrequited, where there's not enough attractional chemistry to keep it going. Um, it can also be um, maybe they're just not available, maybe they're in a marriage, maybe they're in a relationship right now. Um, it could be that. These ones. These are one of my new decks. Gemini 23rd to the 29th. Gemini 23rd to the 29th. Ooh, we've got a couple. Okay. You might be feeling like you're a bit of a victim right now. Um, you might be playing a bit of a victim, you know, rather than just the experience for what didn't work or whatever, for whatever reason. Look at the change the perspective. Look at it like, you know, it was from my highest good. This didn't work out. Maybe they're not my right person. Whatever. Get out of the victim mentality and kind of go back into maybe do some meditation, do some work on you and realize that, you know, as I say, that they're not your person. Change your perspective. Um, ascended Masters. You have Ascended Masters that are guiding you. Um, maybe you don't feel that way. Maybe you're not listening to them. Maybe you're not asking for that. 
for them to kind of be with you and help you through anything. You're kind of just going on in the same cycle. Like, you're not, as I said, one of these cards up here said something about stalemate. I forgot which one it was now. Um, you're at a stalemate, though. You're just not wanting to actually um, choose. Like, you, you feel like you're stuck. You feel like you um, just keep on living the same thing rather than just making a decision. Um, you are going through cycles. Uh, you've got increase, and I think increase is probably good things. Let me have a look. This one I haven't had before. Uh, increase. So it's great. It's about a time of great growth. Um, maybe you're increasing the size of your family or your business. You may be thinking of buying real estate, starting a building project or making some investments. If any of that's on your mind, now is time to investigate your options and take action. The cycles in your life have led you to a wonderful time of increase. Um, the cycle could call for great effort. Planning, energy and attention may be required to make the expansion complete. Be willing to jump into the activity with enthusiasm, lay the groundwork, Make your plans. Your close attention could ensure your expansion moves in very beneficial direction. Um, maybe that's something creative. And if it's not, maybe that's for you. You need, you need to do something that raises your vibration, something you're passionate about, whether it's, I don't know, painting, music, photography, whatever. Um, and you've got happy success and it's reversed. At the moment, you're not in that place to kind of have uh, success or happiness you know you're feeling a bit stuck and and um a bit depressed really you're undecided all those things you feel like there's not going to be success but there will be it's just you've just got to make a decision and it looks like you've got a few different issues going on okay gemini Twenty-third to the twenty-ninth. What does Gemini need to know? Twenty-third to the twenty-ninth. Um, okay, you want stability, security, endurance, growth, flexibility. You want something to last. Um, you're replaying things over in your head. You're doing that nostalgia thing, which is one of the cards you've got somewhere. Um, and at the moment, you're not. You, as I said, you are very confused. You don't know. You're in that codependent relationship. Um, you might be being possessed, controlled, whatever, or you might have just got out of that or somebody's got an addiction of some kind. Um, so at the moment, you're not looking to meet somebody new. Um, you don't want to really get back out there and date for some people because maybe they've been hurt before or oh, heartbroken, as it says right here. Um, yeah. I think maybe you need to work on your self-image, maybe or your self-love, all those sort of things. Um, yeah, maybe it's not going to end quite as well because you've got happy success and heartbroken. Maybe things are just not going to work out with the situation you're in or there's a possibility of it not turning out that way. Um, yeah, it's a, bit, it's a bit tricky. I guess that's why you've got to maybe talk to the universe or God or whoever and ask for some guidance. Um, yeah, good luck. Okay, we'll move from Gemini and we'll move to Libra. Hopefully that helps somewhat. Sleep in need to know, 23rd to the 29th. Sleep in 23rd to the 29th. Oh. Okay. Got 
few that have come out. It's not so far. Think like 23 to 29. Oops. That shuffling, I'm too busy looking down. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, well, that one fell out on its own. Hmm. So first we've got Ace of Cup, uh, Ace of Swords, sorry, reversed. That's all about obstacles and rethinking something. Maybe you've got some clouded judgment. Um, it can mean, um, yeah, inner clarity, power, um, and passion ignited. You've got passion ignited, which is kind of like um, Ace of Wands reversed, which is like a lack of direction. Um, missed opportunities delays so something might take a while there might be some obstacles or maybe um you've got some clarity about something or you might just have cloud of judgment about something um or you're not doing something that you're passionate about as well and you're not getting success then we have firm foundation so that's about um somebody who wants to have that long-term security um, it can mean somebody who's stubborn or they're hoarding something uh, it can mean um, saving money possessive maybe there's somebody's resisting the change as I said I think it's a resisting the change and I think somebody's got the obstacles and they maybe have that lack of lack of passion um, or there's some missed opportunity or it could be a delay uh, you've got strength and the strength is about having strength, inner strength, um, unconditional love, self-respect, um, compassion about some, maybe there's, you need to have some bit of compassion. Um, then we have the second row, we have patience. So things are going to take some time. Um, it's about uh, self-control, having some balance in your life, um, but mainly patience. And we've got foundation and achievements. Um, so that's all about like happy home, moving on and leaving the past behind. Um, maybe because there wasn't success and there wasn't any passion maybe and you want the firm foundation, you're going to have to use your strength and everything's going to, or something's going to take its time. But maybe it's because you want the happy home, you, you've got to leave the, the past behind and move on. Um, the devil card is somebody maybe who's addicted to something they're you know got an obsession with something um maybe it's sexual maybe they're greedy um yeah not the nicest card okay then we have base chakra and that's all about stability home money safety all of those things um you need to maybe stand your ground and you're not. Um, it can also be, because it's seven of wands reverse, it's also maybe about giving up. You're feeling like you're exhausted. You're feeling like you can't make a decision about something. You're overwhelmed, but you really need to stand your ground and you're not currently. And you, you're, you had mental conflict, but it's like the mental conflict is... Um, Maybe it's like you need to release something or you're still going through indecision and confusion. I mean, you feel like you, it sounds like you're going through a lot of indecision and confusion, to be honest. It feels like you feel like you're at a stalemate. You're in denial maybe about something. Um, you need to release something. You need to get out of your head and stand your ground and make the decision. And it's like, I don't want to do that. The moon is about unseen problems there's things going on maybe you don't know about um it's about using their intuition you know so it, it, intuition always tells you things there might be um anxiety there's a voluntary change that maybe needs to happen 
um, maybe you need to put a stop to something because only you can control it. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got like financial material changes re reversed. And that's about having courage. It's maybe a recovery from a financial loss, a revival. But I don't think, I think it's more with you. Um, and you've got Ace of Swords, which guess what? It's now upright. So here, maybe this is past, present, future, as I said, which still isn't really, it's not really being very successful over here. You're still like, you're still not sure about what you're doing. But then you have the Ace of Swords. So maybe Ace of Swords comes after that. I mean, it could be still like a sudden opportunity. It might be the truth comes out about something. It might be a breakthrough or success, um, a fresh start. Um, it could also still mean conflicts. And the lovers is reversed. I mean, that's all about having self-love and disharmony. It sounds like there's a lot of just confusion, just every unsure about a lot of things. You don't want to make a decision. There's imbalance maybe between your head and your heart. Um, misalignment of values between you two maybe. Um, yeah, it doesn't sound like the best situation at the moment. I'm sorry. Just sounds like, but you, I mean, you choose. You choose that though. That's this is this is because you choose to not give up on something, and you can't make a choice, and there's indecision, and you don't want to release something possibly. Um, yeah, it's your doing, I guess. Okay, Libra, twenty third to the 29th of August. Libra, twenty third to the 29th of August. Okay. I mean, embrace your confusion. Let there be peace in not knowing all the answers. I mean, you want inner peace. Maybe you need to make that decision. Um, I mean, you don't know all the answers. You can only go on what you know um, and how you feel. But um, there's a revelation, which I think is about truth coming out. And also, um, it's also revelation as in... I think you I think you'll know though like the truth will come out but it also could mean the right path will reveal itself as well but I think revelation I just think you know I mean you, you can get support talk, talk to your friends talk to other people um, talk to the universe if that's what you need to do angels whoever God whatever um, you got intent reversed where you're putting out an intention and you know, it's reversed. So maybe you're not putting out the right intent to people um, or the universe, you're not putting the right right intent out. Probably because you seem like this whole situation here, which is all confusion and, you know, just, yeah. I think that's why you don't know what you want. And I think until you figure it out, you're going to have to have patience. That's, that's for sure. I mean, you got them up here. There is definitely a delay, but I just think you don't know what you want. So how can you put out to the universe, this is what I want when you don't know what it is you want? Um, figure out what your goals are and even just take write them down. Take small steps towards them even. Um, but you're going to have to have patience. Things are going to, something's going to take a while. But yeah, you definitely, I think your first step is you need to figure out what it is and or who it is you want or I don't know. It just sounds like there's just so much indecision and confusion and yeah. And the problem is if you don't know and you put it out to the universe, that, you know, that doesn't know either because it doesn't know what you want. It's very confusing. Okay, Libra 23rd to the 29th. Libra 23rd to the 29th. Um so you've got gratitude reversed, and that's all about being grateful. Um, it can also be, instead of complaining about what you don't have, be thankful for what you do have. Um, then you'll start to attract prosperity and gratitude and whatever. Um, you're not grounding yourself at the moment. Maybe you need to go and spend time in nature or do something to ground yourself. Google that if you don't know how. Uh, can do, you can use crystals or meditation or lots of things. Um, maybe you're too busy being a caregiver and focusing on your loved ones or friends or whoever, rather than actually focusing on your own well-being and your own life at the moment. So maybe you need to stop giving so much and focus on you. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got relationships. 
and they are mirage, mirage images of your own life. So how you feel and treat yourself, which is what I just said before, um, the universe doesn't know. So how you react and respond to different situations, people around you, that all it all affects that. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So that's what you got on the back. On the bottom, I mean. But I think your first step has to be figuring out what it is or who it is you want. Um, yeah. Reverse 20, page 29. Oh my goodness, too many. Um, you've got abundance, which is um, I'm grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. Maybe you need to be grateful for what you do have and also spend time in nature. You need to do something that you enjoy. Um, find out what it is that you enjoy to do and do it. You need to find your bliss. So find something you enjoy doing because it raises your vibration. Um, the crown chakra, you've got base chakra here, but you've got the crown chakra here. Um, and that's all and it's reversed. I know I'm part of source and my life is guided by divine wisdom. Maybe you're just not listening or you're not trusting or, um, but there is going to be change and it's about embracing change, not kind of wanting to, I guess that's what this is, the situation where you don't want to make the decision. Um, you need to embrace change. And on the bottom of the deck, celebrate life. I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on mother earth. I mean, it's a, just being grateful really. It's, it's um, appreciating what you have. Okay, Libra. That was crap. Okay, Libra, 23rd to the 29th of August. Um, Okay, so possibly you've known somebody in your past life, um, or you may have dated them previously, but you might know have known you might know the person because you got past life um, connection. Um, you got attraction, and that's about attracting romantic love into your life. You need to find somebody you're attracted to. I mean, they're attracted to you. Attraction is important as well as chemistry, I guess. Um, they might be somebody that you, I don't know, maybe there's something, somebody's married or you're married or uh, maybe you want to get married. It could be any of those things. It's wedding and, or maybe they're in a high level of commitment or vice versa, you too. Um, and it is safe for you to love. It's, it's about knowing that maybe you just needed that message and to call in your soulmate, which it says up here. Somewhere about the intent reversed where you're, you're not putting out what it is you actually want um, by to call in your soulmate maybe use some prayers affirmations and visualizations all those things to help you get what it is you actually want um, yes, these ones these are my other new cards No, that is like a huge pile. I'm not taking those. Um, you may be playing the victim at the moment. Um, I think the last cards just got these a minute ago. You need to do something creative um, because you've got creative and joyous fun. Something that you find fun, something go and enjoy yourself, whether it's photography, music, oh, painting, whatever it is. Whatever it is you enjoy doing, you got that and joyous fun. So you need to go and do something that you find fun to raise your vibration. Um, you feel like you're the victim. You've got victim mentality. So maybe you're feeling like you're the victim at the moment. Um, get out of that space because that's only going to attract more crap. Um, and you've got conflict. I think there's going to be some conflict. Maybe when you make the decision. I mean, you know, there might be some conflict there with somebody. And you've got happy success. I swear these are like the same cards that I just did for the last one for Gemini it's bizarre but you will have success it's an happy success you know it's just about taking the taking the steps it's making the decision that's the hard part 
Okay, oops. Okay, what are you gonna? Libra, we're gonna go to the 29th. Libra, we're gonna go to the 29th. Right. Somebody may be uh, codependent. They, oh my God, they're like the same cards, I swear. Oh, that was reversed. Um, so there might be, you might be in a relationship that's obsess, obsessive. If somebody's obsessive, maybe they're possessive, they're controlling, or you're in a codependent relationship, or they have a addiction, which you got a minute ago with one of the cards. Said something about addiction. Um, you, somebody might be, you or somebody might be heartbroken, hurt, sad, separated. Maybe you're separated from your person, um, even by distance. Um, it can also mean breakup, feeling lost, grieving, or mourning. So you got heartbroken. Um, mirroring, you did get that somewhere about um, relationships mirroring. I forgot where that was. Anyway, relationships mirroring. Oh, here. We got the relationship card about how they mirror. And it's about um, doing some introspection, but also um, they doing some, get some self-worth and... Because whatever you put out to the universe, you're going to get back. So if you are depressive, you're going to get, you know, crap back. Um, you need to keep a positive mindset. You need to manifest exactly, we're talking about intent, and this one's reversed as well. And it's needing, you need to know how to manifest correctly and put out one thing that you want. Not If you've got this confusion, it makes it very hard, as I keep saying. So you need to do that um, because you want stability, security, growth, endurance, flexibility, all those things. Uh, so at the moment you're not receiving what you need because you got the boat. You're not, I mean, you're not putting out to the universe what, what it is you're actually after. You're not moving on. You're not getting closure issues. You're not having any of those things because you're not making a decision. So you're kind of stuck. So anyway, I hope that helps. Um, Libra. And now I'm going to move on to Aquarius. No, oh, wrong cards. Oh no, right cards. Just remember though, only you can change that. That's something you can control. Which, you know, that means you can change it. Okay, Aquarius. Need another drink here. Yeah. Feeling really thirsty today. Okay, Aquarius. Tell me about Aquarius, twenty third to the twenty ninth of August. Oops. One went to fly and then didn't. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th. 23rd to the 29th. Aquarius. Oh. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th. Oh, that one came out second. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th of August. Oh my goodness. I mean, grateful, hopeless time shuffling. Okay. Right. So we've got discontent and bored. That's the first one. So reverse, that's all about um, 
retreating, withdrawing, maybe doing some introspection, you feel uninspired, you feel bored, disillusioned, disappointed with the world, you maybe feel hesitant to open your heart. But um, it can also mean maybe you're getting out of the discontent and bored stage. Um, and then you've got Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is about um, somebody who is is curious, they're um, witty, chatty, um, maybe they're communicative, um, maybe that's you or somebody else, um, normally someone that's younger than you, um, but yeah, you could just describe them. Let me ask what else that's about, just in case you're unsure. Aquarius, Eight of Swords. Oh, I mean, maybe you've got the Fool, and that's all about taking a leap of faith. It's a new path and beginning, fresh hope. So, for maybe for some of you, the Page of Swords is somebody new. Maybe they're, that's just describing some traits of that person, um, beginning with that person. Um, you also got Four of Cups, and the Four of Cups is about feeling unfulfilled and bored, which is pretty much what the top card said. Um, but it's that one was reversed. This one's upright. So the Four of Cups upright is all about, yeah, feeling unfulfilled, bored. Maybe you've got some doubts. Maybe you're contemplating something. Um, and you've got the Knight of Wands and the Knight reversed. And the Knight of Wands reversed is about um, something happening quickly, maybe some scattered energy. But then it can also be a delay to something. Maybe feeling frustrated or there's arguments, jealousy, suspicion. So maybe somebody comes in and it's a possible new relationship, but somebody else might be jealous or, or you know, maybe, yeah, maybe someone tries to come in and, and have something with you. Um, on the bottom of the deck, you've got um, temperance and that's reversed. And that's about imbalance, um, excess, um, yeah, so, all right, let's move on. Maybe it's just somebody new that comes in. Maybe for some of you, if you're a discontent and bored in your relationship and now you're getting out of that and meeting new people, maybe that's the new person. Not going to suit everybody. Then we have shadow, and the shadow is the same as the moon, and that's about illusion, uh, subconscious, intuition, unseen problems, some voluntary changes, and you've got harmony, which is another major account of the same. And that's like the lover's card. So that's self-love because it's reversed. Self-love, disharmony, imbalance, misalignment of values. Then we have the two of cups reversed. And that's like a misunderstanding, a breakup, or there's distrust, as I just finished saying, with the other cards that were pulled out. You know, maybe someone's just feeling jealous because someone new else has come on the scene and, you know, someone's jealous about that. Um... You're not trusting your intuition that came out. Um, maybe you need to listen to messages or signs or whatever you're seeing. You've got nine of pentacles reversed, and that's about um, having self-worth. And it could mean somebody's hustling, trying to hustle you, or you're trying to hustle somebody. Um, and you've got five of ones reversed. And that's about um, inner conflict and maybe avoiding conflict um, as well. You know, you don't want to, all because maybe of this, maybe because of this person. Passion ignited. I mean, you know, maybe someone's just, um, it's all, it can be about a new career or a creative spark or a new opportunity. I mean, maybe some opportunity that's passionate. Maybe this new person, this page of swords, maybe it's a passionate kind of person. And on the uh, even under that, you've got not trusting your intuition, and you've also got obst obstacles and challenges. Like there's going to be some obstacles. Like somebody is not going to just you know sit by and watch you with this new person. On the bottom of this one, you've got three of wands reversed, which is about um, staying in your comfort zone. Maybe there's some frustration, there's some obstacles, or a lack of foresight. Um, and you've got the sun, and the sun is about positivity and warmth and material happiness. It can be a joyous outcome, all those things, which is really, really good. So it might end, it might actually end really well, but trust your intuition, and you know, it might end really quite well with this person. It's a passionate, definitely a passionate. Makes 
He got under the collar. That's pretty nice. Nice to some. All right. Okay, Aquarius 23rd to the 29th. Aquarius 23rd to the 29th. Um, okay, you need to spend time in nature. You're not doing that currently. Um, that might help get some clarity or, you know, whatever. Um, help with grounding as well. Um, you've got achievement uh, reversed. So upright, it's all about chasing your dreams and you'll be surprised where they lead you. It's, 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 it's getting an achievement and you're, it's reversed. So maybe you're just not listening um, or you're not trusting that the universe will guide you to the right place. You've got to take some action though. You know, you've really sort of, you, you can't think that somebody's going to come knock on your door and there they are. You've got to take some action and put yourself out there. Um, but you are going to have to have patience because things don't always happen quick, fast when we want them to. Um, at the moment, there isn't any progress. Um, it's You don't want to, I guess you don't want to like charge forward and just, you know, you've got to be willing to make mistakes as well. So maybe things might just take a little bit of time with this person or getting out of whatever it is that you're in or, you know, we need those things. Aquarius, 25th to 29th. 25th to the 29th. I mean, the two that have come out so far are about oh, are about um, hello from heaven and just ask. If you need to ask the spirit world or um, for guidance or loved ones, you can ask angels, you can ask people that have passed, you can talk to your friends even in the in, in real life. Um, and hello from heaven, it's like somebody that's maybe passed over is giving you signs and symbols and they're also telling you they love you. One more. One more will come out. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th of August. Uh, synchronicities, yeah. They are giving you signs, as I just said. Signs and symbols, dreams, all those things to actually give you, know, give you guidance. Um, and it's telling you to have fun. You know, go and do things you enjoy. That will raise your vibration. That's always good. I mean, it's better to be in that kind of headspace than it is a negative headspace. reach out so yeah you're not wanting to reach out and ask which is the same as this card you don't want to just ask you know ask friends family you know the universe god whoever you want to reach out and ask for them to help you if you need it reach out you know and ask um fire elemental reverse i mean it's all about you know if, if you want to um i mean it's all about candles and fire and things like that maybe they help you raise your vibration somehow um or you can connect better if you want to meditate and be around candles or things like that um let me have a look what other meanings 14 it's about will passion and change and it's reverse so you don't you're not you know i mean passion is coming but maybe you don't feel that at the moment you don't really want to change but maybe you need to um, it's asking oh, about the bliss. We got that a minute ago about something to do with bliss. Um, have fun. Yeah, maybe it was the have fun one. Um, it's about finding your bliss and connecting so you can connect to the divine. As I said, it's about passion, determination, and about candles and flames. They also help um, as well to connect. And on the bottom, you've got throat, throat, uh, throat chakra. Maybe you're not speaking your truth, you're not speaking how you feel, maybe you need to communicate to somebody and maybe if there's someone in the past you need to say, you know, rack off, um, I'm going to meet this page of swords, um, you know, whatever. It could also be, it could also be maybe not even a new person. I mean, page of swords can also be 
um, maybe just you. It could just be you um, become inspired. You know, maybe it's no longer being discontent and bored and now you feel inspired. Um, it could even just be that. Maybe you're inspired by something. So, yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new person. Um, calling in your soulmate you've got. So if you were trying to call in your soulmate, prayers, affirmations, visualizations help. And at the moment you've got you deserve love reverse. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve to have love. Um, and you're also not expressing your love, which is probably why you got throat, throat chakra reverse, because that one's reversed too. Um, maybe, maybe you need to actually express how you feel to somebody. Um, maybe there's a lack of chemistry with somebody as well for some people. Yeah, sorry, I should have told you about the page of swords before. But it could also be those things. Oh, you wouldn't have done these ones. Um, yeah, maybe you just now feel inspired. And and you want to become more communicative and, you know, curious about something, possibly. Okay, Aquarius. 23rd to the 29th. Aquarius, 23rd to the 29th. Okay. Man, yeah, angels are the four directions. There are angels supporting you and guiding you, and maybe you feel like they're not. Um, the same as you got, um, you got Ascended Masters reversed, and you've got Angels of the Four Directions reversed. It's like you feel like you don't have guidance. They're not there if you need them. Um, but you do. Um, you maybe you you're trying to put your energy into. I mean, all you got to do is ask. Sorry, I forgot to say that. Um, maybe you're putting your energy into a lot of things instead of one. Maybe you're just kind of like um, focusing on many different things. Maybe try sort of, you know, focusing on one thing at a time. Um, you've got kindred partnership, which is about calling in your soulmate, the same as this one. Um, you know, you can call in your soulmate or you might even be with your soulmate. If not, do some prayers, affirmations, visualizations, meditations, all those things. And you've got great achievement. Maybe there's some wedding or someone's getting engaged or some big achievement. Um, there might be some of you who are also having or being deceptive or someone in your life is being deceptive. Um, maybe they're gossiping, lying, cheating, whatever. Just be aware of that. Last ones for Aquarius. This is Aquarius need to know 23rd to the 29th. Okay. So you may be in a codependent relationship or you're getting out of a codependent relationship. Um, you've got a couple here. Um, maybe you've got a fear of intimacy, but you're getting over that. Um, and maybe you're no longer in the codependent relationship, as I said. Uh, keys on a ring, you are making a decision. Um, you've avoided making the decision. Maybe you did have many options, but now you're just kind of, and one night stands, all those things for some of you, but maybe now you're actually wanting to make a decision and not be in that situation. Um, you're maybe possibly with a narcissist and a one-sided relationship. Uh, you need to focus more on your self-worth, self-love, take time to heal, you know, all those sort of things. Do things for you that you enjoy. Um, take time for you. You might feel like you're frustrated in relationship. Maybe you have a lack of confidence. You self-sabotage things. You're jealous. Or somebody feels like they're not enough. Or it could be you or the other person. Um, somebody needs to take a chance, a risk, being strategic. It's like that full card that came out before. Um, maybe somebody is also being deceptive. They're not showing their hand. They might even be a bit of a gambler. And somebody likes you romance is blooming fun flirting one today as i said that could be the page of swords or it could not it's just maybe someone saying i like you anyway that's the readings for the air signs um thanks for watching if it resonates please don't forget share like and subscribe i'd love you to comment as well if you would like um yeah that would be great okay thanks for watching okay bye